Welcome to the next session of the On Device Research Academy. Today I'm joined by Alex Greaves, Programmatic Director at Kinetic, and he's here to talk about all things programmatic digital out of home. So what are the key learnings this year when it comes to programmatic digital out of home? There's a big learning curve. A lot, a lot of clients are coming to us and our job is to hold their hand through the whole process and make sure they understand everything that's going on and the nuances, like my, my background isn't necessarily always been an out of home and I really had to learn in my first six months how different everything is. There are nuances that you really have to learn and when clients come into the out of home market and they previously haven't been, there's big learning curves, but then they're coming to programmatic homes and even bigger learning curves. So it's, it's, it's about making sure that they understand what each process looks like, each step of the process and what, that, what the end result will be, whether it's reporting, measurement, actually where their ads will deliver. Um, so. In, in that sense, we think like this year we've learned that you've really got to be close to the client, you've got to walk them through every process very slowly. Delivering and working with lots of different uh, partners, whether that's your DSP, whether that's your SSPs, whether that's your data partners, we found that's really important because sometimes clients come to us with extremely niche requests. They've really embraced the data first approach, which we love. Um, and if you don't work with a wide, inclusive range of uh, media owners, you may actually stunt your own ability to deliver or even deliver a really good result. So working with lots of different media partners um, has been really important. So what do you feel are currently the, the key challenges that are existing in the programmatic market? I mean, the first one that comes to mind is a lot of people come to us and, and talk to us as if it is traditional out of home or programmatic. And that is, that's something that we immediately dispel and go, that's not how we look at this. Actually, what we want to do is we understand, what are you looking to do? What is your goal of the campaign? What is the role of this channel? And if they're saying, okay, we want to drive awareness, um, or we want to drive consideration or purchasing, all these different opportunities, then we go, okay, we now understand what you're looking to do. We understand the budget, the dates, everything you're looking to do. And then we, as a planning team, combined with our traditional planners, will go, we think this is perfect for traditional out-of-home. They're actually your best option. Or we go, Actually, there's a half and half approach. Maybe the traditional out of home piece can do a lot of the awareness driving stuff, large format, digital, big iconic formats, but then we're coming in and helping with consideration, purchase intent, overlaying data, overlaying all of the interesting stuff that we can do that previously they weren't able to do. Or sometimes we look at it and it's so complex, so audience specific that we go, this is actually for programmatic only. Yeah. Um, so it's dispelling that, that myth. That doesn't exist. It's, it's um, programmatic out of home is only a benefit for the overall uh, landscape and its overall growth. Um, I think the next one would probably be around the fact that data is fantastic and the audience first approach that we have is really good, but sometimes you can get really lost in it. And sometimes you need to pull back and go, wow, we're targeting something that is so niche and so, so precise, which is great, but there's probably about a thousand panels of which, you know, maybe we, we want larger scale and that we want nationwide scale. And the final one is that you can do the best planning. You can have the best DSP, all of the stuff lined up. If your creative doesn't do what you need it to do, we've really seen um, measurement studies that have been let down because you look at the creative and go, ah, oh, if you'd have a, a clearer call to action, if you'd had a bigger QR code, if you had bigger logo, bigger branding, you'd have gone, ah, oh, it, it would have really helped. Whereas sometimes we've had small things like that where we're getting so excited by the planning process and maybe the creative consideration hasn't, hasn't gone well enough that the overall package hasn't landed. And then we go back and we've got, we've got ways that we can help clients with that to make sure that we have got that opportunity next time to make sure we nail everything on all fronts. So I think overall, we've seen it, uh, it really helped the market. We, we saw programmatic out of home this year looks about to be about 8% of the market. Um, that has risen from last year and we think that will probably rise quite significantly again as more brands, as more media owners and everyone comes together and really embraces what programmatic is and can be going forward. Do you need to demonstrate better effectiveness and accountability when it comes to your programmatic out-of-home advertising? If so, then please reach out to us at ondeviceresearch.com.